you live in New York, and this is probably related, you know, and you've mentioned the expense of living in New York. I think we're all aware of that. How do you survive in New York? And also you've got the added extra cost of health insurance to sort of uh, pay for. Right. Because I'm an entrepreneur, so which means I have to pay my own health insurance. Well, I think, look, in a lot of ways, the work we do at Out of Architecture is to help people get jobs because a lot of people feel much more secure when they're employed. And I think that makes a ton of sense. I am not one of those people. I don't feel like I have control over my life and my job when it's in someone else's hands. And again, I think this comes from a lot of the way I was raised in the sense that someone I'm really close with in my family is my uncle. And he has this sort of approach to life and he's a self-made guy and has always kind of worked for himself. He always said, you know, look, I'm capable and I'm smart. And I knew that no matter what, I would always find a way to make money. He's like, what I had a problem with was always being able to work under somebody. So once you let go of this idea that, or if you didn't have it to begin with, which I don't think I do, that a job is your ultimate stability, you just recognize that every month you have a number that you have to hit in order to survive, right? And you find a way to make that happen. And that forces you or forced me as an entrepreneur to really look at what is the value I bring to people and what do I have to charge in order to survive? Not what are people paying or what do I feel like is the lowest I can do it for, but hey, what does this actually cost me? And we coach people out of architecture through this a lot because we'll have people who freelance or want to do things on the side. And you realize that you know, making like maybe as a junior, if you're going with an hourly rate of take an annualized salary and then break it down, maybe it's 35 an hour, 30 an hour. As a freelancer, you can't charge that. You've got to tack on 40% for self-employment taxes, for health insurance overhead. You know, you're paying for your computer. I pay for the lights and electricity and internet. And you realize when you're billed out at 150, even though you're only making 35, suddenly you learn where that figure comes from. And then you have to just be aware, right? I have to be aware that every month I have to pay my health insurance. Every month I have to cover the cost of, of utilities and whatnot. Usually your employer is paying that, but you're billed out at a higher rate than you make. And as an entrepreneur, both of those numbers are up to you. And I liked that control. I maybe am a little bit of a control freak. <laughs> <laughs>